Hello. This lighting is really awful. I look super orange, but we're just gonna deal with it for right now. So today is Sunday, and I decided let's vlog. I haven't done this in a long time, but I get a lot of questions because I work from home. I do social media for Bravo TV, aka Real Housewives, Below Deck, Vanderbump Rules, all that jazz. I do social media for them. A lot of people ask me what that's like because I live at home, like with my parents. I'm a recent college grad and I work from home. I don't go into an office every day with my coworkers. They are in New York City. I'm in the Boston area. What is this hair doing? So I figure, you know what? People wanna know how I do it or what I do on the day to day. Let's do a vlog. So I'm gonna do a vlog of my week and just go day by day. It is actually Sunday today. The reason I started filming today is because I'm actually working today. It is BravoCon weekend. If you don't know what BravoCon is, it is basically the first ever Bravo convention. So I am working today. I'm only, wor yesterday I worked um, a full day. So I worked nine to five on Saturday, which I usually don't, I usually have weekends off. I also have a second job. I live stream for TV Co. every night. Well, not every night. I, I live stream um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday night. So four nights a week. Tonight, I am working four to eight for Bravo, and then nine to ten, I'm live streaming for The Walking Dead, which I love doing because The Walking Dead is awesome. I decided I was going to paint my nails. It's afternoon. It's one o'clock, so I have a couple hours before I have to start work. And my nails keep on breaking. I think it's because of the cold weather that's starting. Uh, my skin's starting to get dry. My nails are cracking a lot more. But usually when I paint them, it like fortifies them. So I think I'm gonna paint them. Okay, I finished my nails. It's like a metallic gold color. I actually do this color a lot. Kind of boring. Um, it's one of those Sephora by OPI polishes. I don't even know if they make Sephora by, by OPI anymore. I've had this forever, but it's called Already Famous, if you care. I also just use like the OPI top coat with it. I always tend to do my nails myself. Every once in a while, I'll go get like a mani-pedi, usually less than once a year, if I have like a trip coming up or whatever but I kind of prefer to do them myself because they last longer and it's cheaper. So I tend to just appreciate doing it myself. It's around 3 p.m. now, some time has passed, and I have to work in about an hour, but usually when I have to work, I'm obviously on a computer all day long, staring at my phone, staring at my computer screen, so usually I try to make sure that when I'm not working, I'm not spending all of my time glued to a screen because then I end up getting headaches, my eyes hurt. It's definitely not good for my eyes to be constantly staring at a screen. So I decided I would read some of the book that I'm reading right now. It is called The Watson Girl by Leslie Wolf. Um, it's really small. This book is, I mean, it's, it's big in like size, but short in pages. It has around 200 pages. I mentioned in my favorites video that I just put up before this that I read the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. If you want to hear more about that, you can watch my favorites video. And then after that, I read another book. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put the name on the screen. I loved this book. It was so good. I would like to read more books by that author, so I'm gonna have to do some research and see what other books she's written. And then this one, my mom gave me, she said she liked it, so I started reading it. Yeah. What? What are you doing? Reading. What? Reading. You working? Not yet. Yeah, one second. I've been summoned. Okay, so it is officially time for me to work. Um, I have moved up to our attic slash TV room slash the place where I film my podcast slash storage slash there's just a ton of stuff up here and it's a mess and probably needs to be cleaned. But that's besides the point. I am 
logged on for work. I also have the Patriots game on because they play today in like 20 ish minutes. So I'm going to watch that while I work. It should be pretty chill because BravoCon is winding down. So I don't have too, too much crazy stuff to work on. I'm in the same spot, but it is much later now. Finished working, the Patriots won, so two great things. Um, and I am about to live stream for The Walking Dead on an app called TV Co. If you don't have it already, you should download it because I live stream four times a week um, for a bunch of awesome shows. I talked about it in my favorites video as well, so you can check that out if you want more info. What's up, TV Co? We are live. I'm live streaming on TV Co right now, and we have got Fan Dan, Farmer, Big Brother Bry, and Carol in the chat, I believe. Farmer's saying hello, tons of likes. TV Co is awesome. If you don't have the app, you should download it. Um, check it out. Thanks, guys. Oh, look at that. An animation. Thanks, Farmer. We got a zombie animation. Perfect for The Walking Dead. Hello. It's Tuesday today, and I just got up. It's around 9 a.m., so I slept in today, um, but I did work the whole weekend, so I kind of let myself sleep in. Technically, I don't have to be online until 10, but I usually get online earlier and then log off earlier, but today I decided to sleep in a little bit. Um, I woke up, got dressed in my work clothes, aka a t-shirt, sweatshirt, and sweatpants. And typically I come downstairs and I work down here for a bit, catch up on whatever Bravo shows I've missed um, from the prior day, or in this case the weekend. And I have breakfast, do my thing, and then if I have any phone calls which usually happen later in the afternoon, I will go upstairs to take those phone calls because it's quieter up there and eventually my brother will come home from school. So I just like to go upstairs to have a little bit more privacy and quiet. Side note, if you remember yesterday when I was reading and then my dad called me to help him with something, he needed me to help him bring something in from his truck. And this is what he needed me to help with. He bought a 65 inch TV, a sound bar, and a mount for both the sound bar and the TV. He wants to get rid of this whole entertainment center thing, get rid of that TV, and mount this big, huge TV on the wall right there. So that's what he needed my help with. Okay, so I have been working for a bit now. Here I am on my laptop, but. I wanted to show you guys this. Does anyone else do this? So I am like such a to-do list and like I have to write things out type of person. Look at this. Every page of this notebook is like filled with lists and stuff. Every day I make myself a to-do list for work. Does anyone else do that? Like literally I even write out the times when I have to have posts scheduled and cross them off as I go so that I know which spaces are open and stuff like that. Probably not the best for the environment considering how much paper I use, but it's like something about having to write it down and cross it off. Let me know if you guys agree. It's the same day, many hours later, later now. I finished working, I took a shower, and then I made dinner for my family, which I try to do at least once a week. Tacos are usually my go-to, which is what we had tonight, just because they're simple to make, taste great, and super quick. So that's what I did tonight. Um, I didn't film it. I kind of just like forgot to pick up the camera, which will probably happen a lot in this video. So apologies in advance. It is almost eight o'clock, so I will be live streaming for The Voice. My The Voice live streams on Mondays are two hours long, so I'll be doing that tonight. Probably won't see you again until tomorrow. I am trying really hard to get up on my alarm tomorrow because I've been struggling with that lately, and I feel like my days would just go that much more smoothly and be so much more productive if I actually got up when my alarm went off. Cut to tomorrow morning to see 
if I succeeded at getting up on my alarm. I'm awake half hour later than I planned, but I'm up. Breakfast time. I grabbed the turkey and not the ham. Here we go. Ham, egg, and cheese on an everything bagel. One of my favorite things to eat for breakfast. And according to the time code on this camera, it took me less than nine minutes to make, so pretty quick. Hello, it's the next day. I didn't really vlog at all yesterday after what you saw because I literally didn't do anything. I just worked at home and then I live streamed upstairs for The Voice. And I also started feeling sick yesterday. I started getting a sore throat and a stuffy nose. You can probably hear it in my voice. So I just kind of wasn't up for vlogging. But here I am today. I look a little bit crazy because my hair is pulled back usually today so i took a shower this morning and usually today is the day when i would be washing my hair i usually wash my hair every other or every two days if that makes sense but i didn't wash it today because i'm going for a haircut later on and they're just gonna wash it then so um i usually don't wash it before i go because then it just really dries out my hair because it's getting washed twice in one day so I'm sitting here, getting some work done, you know, doing my thing, and all of a sudden I start hearing noises. It sounded like a shuffling noise or something, like I thought somebody was home. I was like, hmm, I don't think anyone's home. I don't think my brother's home from school. Pretty sure my parents are at work. So I was like, what is that noise? Couldn't tell if it was coming from upstairs or downstairs, but I kind of just figured, okay, maybe it was like a half day. I mean, maybe it was a day off from school that I didn't know about or something. I got up just to listen and see if the sound was coming from upstairs because then I know it was like my brother or something getting up. But then I realized the noise was coming from downstairs, which is where I am. I start walking around and I'm listening and I'm listening and I go into the dining room and I hear the sound even louder. I'm like, okay, I'm getting closer. So then I start going to the kitchen and then I don't hear it anymore. Wait a couple seconds, and then I hear it again, and it's behind me back in the dining room. So I go into the dining room, and then I realized the sound was coming from the fireplace. I thought for some reason that like maybe water was dripping. I didn't know what the sound was until I took a closer look and realized there's a bird in there. There's a bird inside of the fireplace. Now I would show it to you, but the fireplace we have has like black glass in the front of it so you can't even really see in like I could see in with the naked eye but from the camera there's too much reflection you won't even be able to see it so I called my dad and I was like what the heck do I do he basically said I can do one of two things I can leave it alone and just leave it in there until he gets home and then we can deal with it then the other option is he said I could try to take it out but he doesn't really want me doing that because if it for some reason ends up flying into the house then I'm screwed. It'd probably shit everywhere. I guess it's happened before. He's like, if you do that, shut all the doors upstairs, make sure all the doors in like the dining room are closed or whatever so that if it does like fly out, you can grab it. He really encouraged me not to do that. And I feel bad just leaving it in there. But at the same time, I don't want to like let it out and let it fly around the house. So I'm kind of torn, but if I'm able to, I will film our um, journey at getting the spurt out. It's like 10 a.m. now. I don't know how long it's been in there for. This is just my luck. Home by myself and there's a bird in the house. Love that for me. It is just after four o'clock now. I have a 4.30 appointment to get my hair done, so I'm gonna head there now and I will update you afterwards. You can see what my new hair looks like. It's not gonna look that much different, just mostly a trim. 
Here is my hair after my haircut. Like I said, not too drastic of a train, change, change. Just the trim, shortened up the back a little bit, and evened everything out, so I'm happy. Also, update on the bird situation. We went to go take it out when my dad got home and the bird was gone. Disappeared. No bird. So we're thinking it somehow got out of the chimney, which is, I guess, a good thing. But yeah, no bird. It's so hard to see in. I just gotta make sure that the... Still in there? I don't see it. Unless it's underneath there. You said it was down in there? It was, I saw it. It was flying around, Ryan saw it too, right Ryan? Is he in there? No. He might have got out. Hello, hello. I have been getting some work done this morning, but I'm actually going to head out, pick up my friend Jesse. We are going to go to the mall because I need to get a dress for um, like a holiday alumni event that I'm going to. It's like semi-formal cocktail attire type deal. So I need to get something to wear. I am back from the mall now and I barely vlogged while I was there. I think I took a one clip of me wearing the dress that I ended up buying, which I'm going to show you in a second. I only got three things at Macy's and a store called Altered State, which I think it maybe is newer. Um, it's at least pretty new to the mall that's near me, so. For the holiday party I'm going to, I got this dress. It is like super sparkly, a little v-neck. It's padded, which is nice, so I don't have to wear a bra with it. Um, it's a little longer than dresses that I normally wear, which I like a lot because a lot of times, I have really long legs, so a lot of times dresses look really short on me. And I like that it's long sleeves too because the party's in December and it's gonna be cold here for sure. Back is cutouts. Then at Altered State, I got this. It is a crushed velvet, I think that's what it's called, um, top. It was in an extra small. The dress I think is a size one or something. It has like a little tie here. This is kind of hard to tell what it looks like when it's not on you, but it's pretty cute. Um, again, long sleeves. And then also from Macy's, I got this. I guess there's something about sparkles that I'm into lately, but it does have like some sparkles to it and like some little stripes. It is just like a high neck tank top, size small from Macy's. This was on sale. These I didn't buy, but check these out. My favorite pajama pants, The Little Mermaid. Now I have to finish some more work which is the perk of working from home. My hair looks crazy right now, but I have it like in a little ponytail. Uh, the perk of working from home is that you can just take breaks in the middle of the day and get stuff done that you need to get done. Also, it was a great time to go to the mall because there was basically no one there. I decided it's time for a face mask. I look really pale in this lighting, mostly because I am, but I feel like I look extra pale for some reason right now. Step one, wash my face. <laughs> Step two, fix my hair so it doesn't go in the face mask. And then apply the face mask. I'm doing sheet mask that a friend of mine gave me. You know who you are if you're watching this. Thank you. I have had this for a long time. I've been saving it. She gave me a couple actually. I used the other ones, but I still have this one. It's not in English, so I'm just gonna put it on my face, leave it for I don't know, 10, 15 minutes and take it off. I believe it's supposed to be a hydrating one. Let's put it on. Oh, it's so goopy looking. Oh wow, this has a lot of goo on it. And now we wait. I'm gonna send a selfie to my friend who gave it to me. It is around 11 o'clock in the morning. I already got some work done. I still sound awful because I have a cold, but my friend and I are gonna go walk around this pond that's nearby where we live. Usually on the days when it's above 50 degrees out, I try to get outside because 
one, I work from home, so I'm cooped up a lot. And also, two, it's just so cold now that like when you have the opportunity to get outside, you gotta take it. So you're gonna go for a little walk. Hey, hi. Hey. <laughs> I forgot my vlog camera, so I'm vlogging on my phone and I look like a moon. I swear I have hair. I'm not bald. Um, we are going for dinner and drinks. Um, the same friend who you saw earlier when I went for a walk, she also accompanied me to the mall. So we're going to go get some food and some drinks. It is Friday night. It's the weekend. Look who I found. Hello. We look crazy in this lighting. <laughs> we look like floating heads. I forgot my vlog camera, so this is gonna have to do for now. It's the best she got. <laughs> hey guys, it is Monday. Totally failed at vlogging this weekend. So I'll just give you a quick recap of everything that went down. I'm gonna try to keep up with vlogging. We'll see how long it goes for, but... On Saturday, I, I went with my dad to Best Buy to exchange. We got a 65-inch TV, but we decided it was too big for the space, so we exchanged it for a 55-inch. Then I helped him set it up. My mom and I also went to the library because I decided I'm going to start checking books out rather than just buying books because I'm not the type of person that likes to read like on my phone or a Kindle or Nook or any of that kind of thing. I like to read the hard copies of the books. That means that I accumulate a lot of books that I don't have space for, and also it gets more expensive when you're buying the hard copies. So I decided to actually start checking books out from the library, which I literally have not done in like eight years. My mom and I went to the library and I checked out a book by an author called Karen Slaughter. I think I mentioned her earlier in this vlog, um, but I checked out another one of her books called Pretty Girls, I think that's the name of it. So I started reading that. I also went to my cousin's hockey game on Saturday. Um, he is in eighth grade and he had a hockey game Saturday night, so we went and checked that out. They won six to three, so shout out to Jason. You crushed it. Then Sunday was just a chill day. As you can hear, I sound a little crazy because I have a cold right now and like my voice is not working at the moment. I feel fine, it's just stuffy nose and um, my voice sounds funky. Nothing too crazy, but I spent the day just kind of resting yesterday to try to get rid of it. Um, I watched, I rewatched Avengers Endgame on Disney Plus, so that took up a good chunk of the day because if you have seen it, you know that movie is three hours long or something crazy like that. Nothing too interesting yesterday. But that's going to do it for this vlog. I'm going to close this one out. You're going to notice in my next vlog that I am wearing the exact same outfit and that's because it's the same day. I decided to start this vlog, upcoming vlog, on a Monday rather than a Sunday because I feel like it's better to just keep the weekend together, if that makes sense. So I figured I'd just go Monday through Sunday for the next one. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have not already, please like this video, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so that you get a notification every time I post a new video. Okay, guys, I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye!